Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show how to crochet with wire and beads. You'll learn some tips and tricks for making jewelry items. Find a crochet hook that's not your favorite one because it could get scratched a bit. Wire comes in all kinds of sizes, colors, and metals. It's easy to crochet with 26, 28, or 30 gauge wire. As you can see, the higher the number, the thinner the wire. I'm crocheting right from the spool of this 28 gauge wire for this flower sample. To begin, make a slip knot. The key is to go very slowly with wire. Now, make three chains. The first chain is always the hardest for me because my fingers keep slipping on the wire. Once I can grasp a chain or two, it goes easier. Make a slip stitch to form a ring. For each petal, I'm making seven chains. With wire, crochet, basic stitches like a chain, slip stitch, and even a single crochet are really all you need. Here is petal number one. Now I've finished petal number two. After making five petals, here is my flower. Use wire cutters to snip the wire. I like to string a bead onto it. Then weave in the wire ends. Twist the wire to secure it and snip the ends. Now, if you want to make a bracelet or necklace, string some beads onto the wire first. You will need to know how many beads you want up front. If you are following a pattern, the designer should tell you. Otherwise, it's trial and error. Start with a slip knot. And for my sample, I'm making four chains. Slide one bead up and make a chain encasing that bead. And make four more chains. Slide another bead up and make a chain within it. Then make four more chains. Continue sliding beads along the wire after four chains. Using this technique, you can make all sorts of jewelry items with the softer types of wire. And these are just some tips and tricks to crocheting with wire and beads. To get more videos like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.